All right, guys, your upper traps, very slow twitch, dominant muscle group compared to say your chest or your biceps. So they're gonna grow from a lot of volume and higher repetition sets. Now I do believe that 50% of your trap training should be the traditional barbell shrugs and dumbbell shrugs. But today I'm gonna give you guys three outside the box trap exercises you must be doing. It's gonna shock your traps into growth and give you guys a ton of variety. So in order to blow up those upper traps, we're gonna emphasize scapular elevation and scapular upward rotation, which basically means just bringing those shoulders close to the neck to hit those upper traps. Now, we gotta get the most common trap training mistake out of the way, and that is the hand placement on the bar. Now, I want you guys to look at a neutral grip position versus a 30 degree abduction on the barbell shrugs. Now, it's so important that you lift your shoulders up and in, they don't have your grip too close to the bar when you're doing barbell shrugs. So your grip position has got to be slightly outside shoulder width apart. Now, if you just do it without weight and you put your hands at a 30 degree abduction versus your hands right at your side, you can feel the difference in your upper trap. So do not make the mistake of having too close of a grip position on any trap movement at all. So some quick form power tips on the barbell shrug. Of course, the 30 degree abduction. I do recommend that you use straps just so all that weight is going on your traps. You're not trying to grip it with your forearms. Very important that you control the eccentric and you get a nice hard squeeze at the top. So now that we got that out of the way, let's dive into these three trap exercises that you must be doing. So number one is the seated dumbbell shrug. And you really never see anyone do the seated dumbbell shrug. And the reason that I really prefer this move over the standing barbell shrug is you cannot use momentum. So when you start going really heavy on the barbell shrug and the dumbbell shrug, what you do is you bend your knees and you're using your quads and your lower body drive to really shrug that weight up. I like starting my trap workouts with the seated dumbbell shrug because I go lighter and it completely eliminates your lower body from the movement. Another really cool thing is with this move is when you have dumbbells, the weight just naturally kind of out at your side at the 30 degree abduction. So it just naturally forces your arms to be outside. And I drop the weight about 30 to 40% and I go in the 12 to 15 rep range. Now this is very important because two things are happening. Number one is we're going a higher rep range because remember that the traps are very slow twitch dominant. So you definitely want to utilize 10 to 15 rep range. And then number two, we can't cheat those 12 to 15 reps. So when you start doing 12 to 15 reps on standing shrugs, you're using a ton of lower body drive. Now by starting our trap workout with the seated shrug, we're channeling that mind muscle connection in our upper traps. So I recommend you guys go three to five sets, 12 to 15 reps, 90 second rest time. Second trap exercise is the dual cable shrug. Now notice the starting position, how your arms are really extended. So you're even at more of a 30 degree abduction but that's fine so with this move this will really teach you the proper form on the shrug and if you guys just have the habit of bringing your hands and your grip way too close I definitely recommend that you try this just to really understand that the key to trap activation is getting those hands outside shoulder width apart so of course this one you're gonna need both sides of the dual cable machine set it up on the lowest position and this is one of those moves where I do enjoy going higher repetition. So what I do is I stagger my feet. I'll go 12 to 20 rep range on this. And I'll really focus on getting a hard squeeze at the top and a two second eccentric on the way down. I'll keep those traps under constant time under tension. So think of this move as a time under tension trap exercise where if you want to try this, don't even count reps. Just count 30 to 45 seconds time under tension because once again, the traps are extremely slow twitch dominant. So it's not really going to benefit you going really heavy sets in the four to six rep range definitely go higher rep range on this move. So the last exercise I learned from Charles Glass, and it's a unique move. And you're gonna start off in a pronated position and you're gonna rotate your palms to a supinated position mid rep. Now, just naturally going from a pronated to a supinated grip, you're abducting out at around the 30 degree angle at the peak activation of the move. So it's a, once again, a great move to just teach you the proper abduction angle when you hit your traps. Now, you're definitely gonna have to go lighter on this move than when you do a traditional standing dumbbell shrug. Now, just to give you an idea on the weight, on standing dumbbell shrugs, I'll go all the way up to 120, 125 pound dumbbells. On this move, I don't normally go past 65 or 70 pounds. So that supinated shrug, it's very challenging, but you guys are going to get a killer 
trap pump when you do this exercise. And I really do take into consideration how good of a trap pump I get from each exercise because when you're just going really heavy, you're not squeezing at the top, your hands are too close, you're gonna notice that when the set's done, you don't really feel much of a trap pump. So a really good gauge of how effective an exercise is for your traps, especially those upper traps, is just how good of a pump do you feel after you do a set? So when you really nail the form on the glass shrugs, you guys are gonna have the best trap pump of your life. So I recommend you go 10 to 15 rep range, three to four sets each workout. So if you've made it to the end of the video, you not only know how to blow up your traps, but you can now enter the $5,000 Bitcoin giveaway. So for today's epic giveaway, all you have to do is comment down below what number between one and a million that you think I wrote down in my notebook and if you guess correctly, you're going to win $5,000 of Bitcoin. So guess below, you literally have a one in a million chance of winning $5,000 of Bitcoin, which who knows, could be worth a hell of a lot more in a couple of years. So comment down below. And of course, today's workout and all my workouts are fueled by Superhuman Pre-Workout and Superhuman Protein. Now, I'll be the first one to admit that most of your results are gonna come from your workouts and your nutrition, but I love Superhuman Pre-Workout and Superhuman Protein because they're clinically dosed, they taste amazing, and they help me get a little bit more out of every single workout. So if you wanna try Superhuman Pre-Workout or Superhuman Protein, all you gotta do is go to alphalion.com and use the special discount code TROY20 for 20% off your order, or simply click the link down below. So if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, give it a share, give it a like, and I will see you guys on the next one. You ain't got no games. You ain't with no weights. <laughs>